Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, and if you're suffering from Crohn's disease, I want you to do these nine natural tips for Crohn's disease. So Crohn's disease we know is a chronic inflammatory autoimmune condition which affects different parts of the GI tract. So the great thing about these nine tips is that not only will it lower the overall inflammation in your body, but it will really steer you in the direction of better digestive health in general. Okay, so tip number one for Crohn's disease is to fix that inflammation. So you really do have to take a look at leptin resistance. So if you have missed my other videos on leptin resistance, please check them out. There are some easy and, you know, really attainable tips that you can manifest in your daily life to be able to fix and reverse your leptin signaling and really help you to decrease that overall inflammation. Tip number two for Crohn's disease is to avoid artificial sweeteners. Now, it's been found in studies to be very inflammatory, but also they kill off. So things like sucralose will actually kill off your good and friendly gut flora, your probiotics, which means that some of the less favorable organisms and bad bacteria can actually propagate and grow. And that's not what we want in terms of having a healthy diversity in our microbiome. So avoiding those chemical and artificial sweeteners is very important for your Crohn's disease. Tip number three is to avoid genetically modified food ingredients. They will often, most times, contain something called glyphosate, which is a herbicide which is commonly used in GMO crops, and it's something to definitely be avoided because, again, it too, just like the artificial sweeteners, will compromise the health of your good gut flora, letting some of those less favorable organisms take over. Tip number four is to really watch your gluten and also your dairy intake. So these can be very inflammatory. For people that are sensitive to these ingredients, it may be something that you can stay away for, from for a little while, sort of see how you're feeling. And most people that notice how inflammatory they actually are for their guts, they actually end up <laughs> avoiding them for the long term because it's just not worth it to eat those foods. Luckily today, there are so many different alternatives that are dairy free and gluten free that you know you can definitely switch up your dietary changes and your choices to be able to eat in that way especially if it's helping your gut and your Crohn's disease. Tip number five is to really watch your environment. What that means is all of the non-native EMF exposure that you have, whether that's from cell phones, cell phone towers, Wi-Fi, basically any electronic device or anything that's plugged into a wall can potentially be inundating your body with these EMFs, which is not healthy for digestion. It causes inflammation. And I've got a whole show all about EMFs and how to limit your exposure to the EMFs and what you need to do and also also that blue light exposure, so artificial lights, not so good for what's going on in terms of your endocrine system, but inflammation in your body as well. So by following Mother Nature's prescription, getting out into nature, grounding, getting natural sunlight, these are all really important in terms of your environment to really help to, you know, have that healthier impact on your digestive tract and your Crohn's. Tip number six is to include some L-glutamine. So this is something that is an amino acid. It's very reparative to the gut wall and it can be really helpful for Crohn's disease. So I like to include it in a functional protein powder to ensure that I'm absorbing enough protein on a daily basis, but also including that L-glutamine can be very healing to the gut wall. Tip number seven is to make sure that you're getting enough probiotics, but also prebiotics to help to feed those probiotics. So whether this is a supplement, also including live foods that contain probiotics, things like sauerkraut kimchi into your daily diet is really, really important to help with the Crohn's disease as well. Tip number eight is to include curcumin. So curcumin is the active component of turmeric, which we know is very anti-inflammatory, has a lot of longevity benefits for your overall health, but is very soothing to the digestive tract as well. So it can be really helpful for that chronic inflammation with the Crohn's disease. And tip number nine, so you know that I like to share the mind-body connection as it's related to whatever topic I'm discussing on a given day. And we have to think with Crohn's disease about the stress. And I want you to ask yourself, if you do suffer with Crohn's, what is it that you can't stomach? 
in your life. And I'm not talking about the food. I'm talking about, you know, the relationship, the emotions, the situation. Uh, it could be something that happened in the past. So really think about what you're not able to stomach and find some resolve, some healing around that issue, that person, whatever it may be. You may need to make some changes in your life to really get through and to really heal that Crohn's from the inside out and of course doing it naturally. So today we talked all about Crohn's disease with nine tips for Crohn's and I hope that you learned something new. I'd love to hear from you so please do put it in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up. I love all of your great feedback that you share with me and if you're new to my channel welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and turn on your notifications by clicking that bell so that you're always notified of my newest and latest uploads which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching.